Hey everybody, good evening. Hi guys. It is, um, let's see, I don't know what I was going to say. It's, it's time to get going. Time we got to get a new going. live for you. Okay, we're going to wait till we get some people on here with our content. We're going to just give it a few minutes. Um, fix the hair. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's got to happen. Getting psychologically prepared for what hopefully is our last 100 degree day mm -hmm. of the year mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Maybe it won't hit 100. Let's just... <laughs> hey Amanda. Hey, hi Amanda. Hopefully you can uh, join us for the whole thing. This is going to be really fun. Um, even though you're really good at videos already. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. Um, hi Megan. Hey Megan. <laughs> hi guys. Okay, so um, now that we have a couple of you on here, maybe we should get going and start up. So our topic tonight is um, kind of a follow-up from last night. So last night we talked about how... Um, how to get over your fear of doing videos on Facebook, um, I guess, or Instagram or anywhere. Um, oh, you're sweet. <laughs> and the follow-up to that is, well, what are you going to say? So once you're ready to do a video, once you're ready to get on there, uh, what is it that, what's good, what are good ideas for you to talk about? So, um, let's see, we started off, we were talking about it, is mm -hmm. that we want to help you understand, um, that there are there's a couple different ways to do videos i just thought about this too is you know just random you're just having a good time maybe you're at an event and you want to share with people what you're doing and and you can do that live or with a video so you don't always have to do um content but we really want you to do content or that's the really important thing is to have content in your video something to share something valuable hey bill hey rc hi hey guys hey, bill. Um, so really importantly, you have to have, um, kind of maybe a, a, a tip or a trick or a nugget or some information that you want to get and give out, you want to give out. Um, what's up, Brian? Hey, Brian. So glad <laughs> you guys can join us tonight. So what else? Anything else did you want to add until I get into it or? No, no, go, go ahead. For okay. Go for okay. it. I'm going for it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm on it tonight. Okay. Hey, Jen. So we are, um. We're learning, we've learned that doing video, of course, is the number one way to get people to know, like, and trust you. So if you're in business and you want people to um, start following you, you know, use your services, buy your products, all those kind of things, you need to have some information for them. So we're not going to come on here and say, hey, this is like our super favorite lotion, because right. you probably have a super favorite lotion, um, although that's a good referral and everything. We want to come on here with something really valuable, some things that we've learned. Like um, we did listen to a bunch of Jim Rohn's um, tapes, kind of a series, and that was really, mm -hmm. really helpful and awesome to learn about our mindset and where we are in life and what we're thinking about and, um, and success-driven kind of a thing. So that's something you can take something from anywhere such as Jim Rohn or you know that's just a speaker so anybody that influences you or has um, helped you motivate right. you things like that um, do you have another idea uh, yeah I mean just throwing out names uh, and really enjoyed re reading Daniel Pink's oh, yeah. uh, really books uh, very very fascinating stuff um, certainly you know then the big ones uh, you've got Tony Robbins uh, right, right. Robert, you know, the, Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki, there's just, you know, on and on it goes. So these books obviously filled up all kinds of content mm -hmm. that you can then turn around and share with others in the form of a video. Just right. put it in your own words. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Just take away a few nuggets. Um, so it's, if it's your first video, right. you're, it's really easy to find yep. content out there. There's right. tons. And anything that has moved you or inspired you or helped you is perfect because then they're going to feel that passion and that conviction in your voice and understand what you've, um, you know, they're going to hear it. They're going to, they're going to want to hear it too. So, um, and, and for, for uh, mm -hmm. there's also a, be a benefit for us when we, when we apply what we've learned and when we talk about it mm -hmm. ourselves, it gets more ingrained yeah. in ourselves. Yeah. And so some of the, the concepts, some of the skills that we've learned in the last few months alone, uh, the more we put a, put it into practice, the more we talk about it in these trainings, in these uh, webinar, mm -hmm. in these uh, live sessions, the, the more uh, it becomes just naturally built yeah, you in. you remember it, you understand it. Yeah, it's it. just part of our DNA now. Yeah, so you can say it better, mm -hmm. you know, it comes out right. clearer. Um, and the other thing, too, is just like teaching, once you do it, 
it it is natural. You know, you, you learn it hey, Teresa, once you're doing right it. On. So um, <laughs> right that on. comes with um, Thank you. <laughs> years and years of being a teacher. So, hey, Tatiana, how are you? Um, what, okay, so the next thing is that you can talk about, okay, we talked about, you know, inspirational things that you've learned. Mm -hmm. What about a webinar you've been on or um, a training <laughs> you've been to? And if you've been in business for a while, then I'm sure you've learned something. So you, um, if you're gonna help other network marketers or other people in business, you're gonna want to share some of that knowledge. And it's kind of funny, but you can pick one thing and and, and kind of run with it, like we are doing tonight, right. and, and have enough to give to somebody that's really valuable and maybe um, spark their interest or ideas for the next time that they're ready to do it. Uh, yeah, and I think that, that's, that's uh, the name of the game is keeping things simple. Mm -hmm. Just picking mm -hmm. one or two things uh, and not getting overly complicated. Um, you know, yeah. that's what I appreciate about uh, when we happen to do go on a road trip and uh, make an, a stop for the yeah. children at In N Out Burger. If I could just make a pitch for them. You know, you look at their menu, it's really oh, yeah. super simple. It's like I don't have a million choices. Yeah. And, and you can't find it on Anyways, the I don't know. That's yeah. kind of a digression. But, like you know, when you do video, don't feel like you have to get all complicated and talk about 10, 20 different things. Right. Keep it simple and you'll be fine. I like that because we talked about that earlier. What are we going to tell people tonight? What are we going to talk about and what kind of content? Well, it was like, okay, break it down to what we're learning. And that's what we both have learned being teachers. So hopefully we can help you with that. Okay, I didn't write down all my ideas. What was the other idea? So, um, just things that you already know, things that you've already, you know, experiences. Oh, next one. Telling stories. Mm. Stories are huge. So, do we have a story for you tonight? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Hey, guys. Hey, Jess. This is fun. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions or ideas, throw those in there, too, for us and for everybody else. Because right. we'll, um, we'll read off your comments for everybody. And then later on, when we post this live to our page and to our blog, then other people can read the comments. Well, I, and I think so from the blog. I'll have to check. <laughs> There's so much to learn. It's so fun. There's right. like little little things we're doing every day. To yeah, grow. I don't know if we have a story uh, to to share uh, mm -hmm. unless we think of something. Quick. <laughs> you know, but but yeah, I mean, any time yeah. you can uh, connect your um, your content um, or your presentation to some kind of a story. I mean that that right there is absolutely key. Mm -hmm. I mean. I don't have to tell you that your interest level just gets peaked when you know there's a story involved. I have one. I have a story. For oh, you. great. Okay, do we have time? Okay, yes, I think yeah. we have time. Go for it. Okay, so um, yeah, nothing's on my phone here. Um, <laughs> soccer practice is almost over. Um, so today on our wake up call, um, the co-founder of one of our um, platforms affiliates spoke about this story, and it was called the um, Michael. Shoot, what was it called? Michael Call Michael or something like that. I don't know what it was called. But it was about a soldier in, um, I believe, the Korean War. I'm already forgetting the, the little bits, but they're not important. Okay, so he's at war. And um, he had always, he learned the, the prayer of St. Michael uh, for protection. And so he learned that as a young child, and his mom taught him that. And so when he um, was injured in this war and he came back, to um, recover, he wrote a, a story or wrote a letter to his mom, and this story or this I call it a story, but this you know he wrote down this experience um, has, has has gone huge. You've probably you may have heard of it, but he um, so he was injured. He was back. Um, he wrote to his mom about how he remembered this prayer and he prayed it a lot while he was. Um, involved in this war and so when he was you know just hanging out when they were marching somewhere when they were in combat he was just always praying this prayer and I don't have it in front of me so I can't read it to you but it was about protection and and about belief hey Chuck, hey, Chuck. um and so when he all of a sudden they're marching to this wherever they're going and um it's really cold out and he's realizing that and all of a sudden this guy walks up next to him this really big he's in the marines so he's a a very large guy and um, he started talking to him like hey I, I don't recognize you I didn't think you were part of our um, I don't know what you call it battalion. regiment thank you mm -hmm. and um, um, my name's Michael and the guy or what's your name and the guy said well my name's Michael and he said, oh 
oh, my name's Michael too. And so there's talking and, you know, talking about the weather and how it was really cold all of a sudden. And um, a little bit ways down the line, they see seven bad guys. <laughs> The enemy. There were seven of them. That's all I remember. The little details. So, um, and they all, he even called out to Michael, duck, you know, get down. Michael stood up and he stayed there. And um, the, his this new friend of his, um, and he couldn't believe that he wasn't getting shot down. But he did notice that he had a sword and a shield. And, um, and, Michael, the soldier, didn't understand why he wasn't getting shot, so he stood up and was trying to get him to, to get down, and he was shot, and that's where the injury came from. But uh, this new Michael ended up, you know, taking care of business, I guess. So once he's moving, all of a sudden he's, they're being ta he's being taken away to um, be helped with his injury, you know, to take care of the injury, the shot. I think the wound was somewhere in that abdominal area because that's what um, he felt they started asking him how did you do it how did you how did you kill all of the those seven men and how did you take care of us and protect us and the the soldier is like I don't, I don't know what you're talking about um and didn't know what to how what to say he's like well where's Michael where's Michael and everybody said there's no other Michael you're the Michael that's in our regiment like there's no other Michaels we don't know what you're talking about <laughs> and so he's like Okay, well, I don't know what you're talking. I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on. I'm so confused. And then um, the the other soldiers said, "Well, how did you do it? How did you kill all those men?" And and they were all killed with a sword. We didn't even know you had a sword. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this story shorter than it probably is. <coughs> um, but it was to him. He always remembered. Oh yeah, Saint Michael had the sword and the shield. So whatever you believe in. This story was about belief and about protection and about what this man and this soldier believed in and how important that was um, to what happened and, and to his belief even thereafter. And I just thought it was it was a really cool story. Mm -hmm. And hopefully I held your attention, even though I didn't <laughs> even reverse, uh, what do you call, uh, rehearse this at all. Um, did, did, I, did I get the point across? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have to practice sometimes, but you don't, you, sometimes you just have to go with it, right, everybody? Right. And that's right. what happens. He, live, Facebook Live, not live TV, but here's Facebook Live, and I hope that that helped you guys understand that you can do that, and you can mess up, and it's going to be okay, and hopefully you'll all still love me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I come mean. come back for more. Right. It's, it's at the end of the day, it's just about being real and being yourself, and, yeah. and, and, and uh, that's what's so fantastic about this business is that you can just get on here and just share who you are mm -hmm. and uh, I mean there that's an idea for another Facebook yeah, live we'll you know is just to you know maybe share more of ourselves because uh, <laughs> right? that's really yeah. key because it's all about getting people to know you and and uh, and, and uh, yeah. you know that's that's where it starts and you can do it uh, yeah, tr yeah Teresa, Teresa, you can do it. Yeah, you yeah. can do it. I mean, I've seen, I've seen your videos. You're a natural, mm -hmm. you know. And I'll hop on. We'll hop on if we get the notification. Right. We'll hop on and give you some. We'll give you, you know, some... like some love while you're doing it, so you feel <laughs> good. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Um, have you done live yet? I can't remember. I know you've done done a lot on Facebook, and it's amazing. Um, but anyway, do we do have to wrap it up because we do have to go pick up Carlin from soccer, and I hope that helped. Um. Hey, Kelly, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Teresa. Yay. So awesome. She's going to try it tomorrow. All right. Okay, so don't forget, even though you may be afraid, it's about other people. I want to go recap from last night. If you're going to do a video or live, try not to think about what you look like. Um, mm -hmm. It's not, you know, you can go on in your pajamas, really, because you can't even see what I'm wearing right now, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I could be in my pajamas and you won't. No. Right, right, right. So try to put those things aside because what we're doing on here is trying to help others, and that's what you can do, and you don't have to worry about um, all the other little things. So anyway, hope you guys have a great night. Um, get some good sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Good night. Okay. All Thanks, right. guys. Bye. All right.